Can ChatGPT help me build a chat application? Yes, apparently it can. So let's try and do just that. So what is the best third-party communication tool I can do to achieve this goal? ChatGPT says there's quite a few different ones depending on what you're after. Comma Chat is one, and we'll be having a look at using it in this video with ChatGPT to set up instant chat. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to put together the script for me for a small instant chat communication widget. What comes back here is kind of impressive. ChatGPT does do a pretty good job here at putting together a script. The very first part is initializing comma chat with an API key. It doesn't give you the API key, so that's something I'll have to do later. It's sort of gone broad and general for creating a chat widget, and realistically, I want to create my own code with an input and a button as well as messages that get displayed, so I might update the prompt here to be a bit more specific with those needs. I'm going to open up VS Code and paste this code in. Of course, I'm going to do this inside of a script tag because all of this code is currently JavaScript code. This should launch once the website launches, and on top of that, I'm going to also update the API key. But in order to get that, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. So instead, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to tell me how. The response here isn't that surprising, and I should have figured it out. I'll simply need to head over to the Comet Chat website, sign up for a brand new account, and then I'll log into the dashboard to pull an API key across. So let's do that right now. I'm going to open up a brand new tab and I'm going to head to Google. I'm going to search up Comet Chat and I'm going to go to the primary website, which is ch cometchat.com. I'm going to sign in, which I already have an account for, and I'm just going to head to my very first application. Here, I've got all the keys available to me, and I can initialize my chat widget with this application key. Now, if I wanted to launch this in a web browser, I would find in the console that it's not loading. This is because we haven't actually pulled comma chat in as a script, and therefore it's not loaded. Let's jump back into ChatGPT to try and figure out an answer for this. The answer should be obvious though. We should be pulling in the script for comma chat in order to initialize the actual code itself. So what I'm going to do here is ask comma chat to see if it can provide that for me. But in case I didn't know what I was doing, I could write something like what code do I need to do to load comma chat and its scripts onto the page. Here, Comet Chat actually gives me the CDN address directly to the Comet Chat website for the version 2.2 of the SDK for the JavaScript version, which is great. But one thing about Comet Chat and its current versions is that it's probably more or less out of date because the ChatGPT system is actually about a year or two out of date in general from all the references it pulls. So this script is actually not working and it's not loading at all. It gives me a 401 request. So what I need to do here is ask ChatGPT where I can find the latest version of the comma chat script so that I can actually apply it properly rather than having this one, which I guess is just simply out of date. The logical next step is to actually head over to the comma chat website, head over to the developer tabs to SDKs and then download or utilize the latest CDN version. Let's do that now. Here's the comma chat website. I'll head over to developers to documentation and then I'll select the SDK page. Since I'm using JavaScript, I'll select JavaScript for a web. And here we are. Here's the script for downloading the SDK from a CDN. And it's got the latest version, which is version three, which is much further than version two currently is. This makes me question just how useful the rest of the code is. And I might need to double check this against the official documentation. Currently, it does look like it is initializing properly, but one of the commands, the comma chat start chat is not a function, makes me think that some of the commands and methods might have changed since the latest version. All right, now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to move on to the next part. I've successfully initialized comma chat. So can it please provide me the code to create a simple chat interface so that I can begin using it? This hopefully should come back with an input as well as a button and maybe a log where messages get printed out. So here ChatGPT actually runs through and creates some code. It creates a main div and then creates a couple of inputs. It does the input here for the text with a placeholder as well as a button to send the message. Then it connects up a function called send message, which actually calls comma chat to send that message as well as an event listener to listen for incoming messages and print them out. Ideally, I should just be able to copy paste this code straight into VS Code and this website I'm putting together and simply begin to use it. Unfortunately, life is never that simple. There's already an error here with one of the methods
methods that are unknown, and this could be because of different versions in the actual documentation from when ChatGPT was created versus the version we're currently on, which is version three. So while ChatGPT has done a pretty good job getting us here, let me fix up some of these bits because I know what we need to do here in terms of the documentation. I'm gonna use an auth key. I'm also going to set my own app ID and region and run the application settings, which are actually found in the documentation of Comma Chat. Finally, I also added in an event listener from the documentation, and this is essentially to append messages once they are received in real time. Now for the big test, let's actually open up a version of Edge browser on the left hand side and maybe the Chrome browser here on the right hand side. I'm gonna send a simple message here in real time to Adrian and it should show up on both sections, which it has. I can send a message back to my test example and that also works. So the real question is, what can we learn from ChatGPT when it comes to coding? While ChatGPT is a great chatbot trained to do a lot of things, it's not gonna still replace you and you are still going to have to do your own research and learn about how to implement different types of software. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Comet Chat or ChatGPT, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.